Hello everyone and welcome to KSport. In today's video, which is the first of a series, we will be looking at some under the radar players in each team squad throughout IPL 2024. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at two players from the Rajasthan Royals camp as they face off against the Punjab Kings today. Talking about our first player in today's video, one of the most underrated bowlers in the RR camp, it's got to be Nandri Berger. Nandri Berger was picked up by the Rajasthan Royals for a base price of just 50 lakhs after a stellar test debut against the Indians, where he picked up 11 wickets in just two games. In this IPL, he's played only five games for the Royals and has picked up seven wickets at a good economy of 8.5. Nandre Berger has picked up a wicket against every opposition he's faced this season. Taking a look at the table, we can see that in three out of the five games he's featured in, he hasn't even bowled his entire quota of four overs. So who's to say how many more pickets he could have picked up if he had bowled those three extra overs. Taking a look at how Berger ranks up against the rest of the RR pace contingent, he has picked up the least wickets, but again, he's played the least number of games as well. He's also going at an economy of 8.5, which is the second best for the Royals after Trent Bolt. Taking a look at Berger's phase-wise stats, we can see that he's at his best in the power play overs, where he's picked up four wickets at an economy just below 10. He's also been quite useful in the death, where he's bowled three overs and has conceded just 13 runs. So the Royals will look to keep Berger in their squad for their crucial last two games of the league stage, which could determine if they finished in first, second or third. Especially with Josh Butler having gone to England for national duties before the T20 World Cup. Although Gerald Kotsia has almost picked up twice the number of wickets that Berger has, he's done it in twice the number of matches as well. And now, to drive home the point of how good of a fast bowler Nandre Berger is, he's bowled over 70% of his deliveries in the 140 plus range, which is the second highest this season after Indian Pace Express, Mayank Yadav. Now, take a look at a batsman for the Royals, who we feel deserves a lot more love. It's Dhruv Jurel. Jurel had his breakout season for the Royals last year, where he scored just above 150 runs, but just look at that strike rate of over 170. After a good debut season for the Royals and some really good performances on the domestic circuit as well, he made his test debut for the Indian national side in their series against England. And in the first innings of his second test for Team India, he scored 90 runs which swayed the game in India's favour. This season as well, Jurel has been quietly scoring some very handy runs and is Rajasthan's fifth highest run scorer. Looking at how Jurel faces off against pace and spin, it's very clear that he definitely likes to play against the Pacers. Against fast bowlers, he's hitting them at a rate of almost 150. But against spin, his strike rate is barely at 115. This can also be seen in the sheer disparity between the number of boundaries that he's hit while facing fast bowlers and while facing spinners. Although Dhruv Jurel is going at roughly the same average that he was going at last year, his strike rate has come down a bit. Another thing that Dhruv Jurel should definitely look to improve this season is just how he's facing those first 10 deliveries. Compared to how he used to approach the innings last year, we can see that his strike rate has taken a massive drop off, especially while facing those first 10 deliveries. When you compare it with last year, where as soon as he came to the pitch, he was hitting the ball from the first minute. This year, although his average has picked up, his strike rate has gone down considerably. This is also especially seen in the number of boundaries he is hitting in those first 10 balls which has gone down by more than half in this year's IPL. With the Rajasthan Royals raring to go in their last two matches and make one final push for that beautiful qualifier one spot, can Dhruv Jurel pick up the pace and hit the ball like he used to last year? Do you feel that there are any other players that might have been overlooked in the absolute blockbuster that is IPL 2024? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and keep coming back to K-Sport for more cricketing content.